What's up, gamers? Welcome to the show where I keep you guys updated on the latest in gaming news. But before we get into today's gaming news, let's take a look at today's clip of the day. Clip of the day. So yeah, that was our clip of the day for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. But now let's get straight into our first news report of today's show. And it's something that got announced earlier today and it's Uncharted The Nathan Drake Collection. A lot of rumors and speculation have been going around for quite a while now about a remastered collection for the first three Uncharted games. And today, all those rumors were brought to life. The Nathan Drake Collection will release on the 9th of October and will include the first three Uncharted games completely remastered in 1080p 60fps with upgraded lighting, textures and models as well as photo mode being brought to each game. Sony's also trying to entice everyone to grab the collection by adding some pre-order bonuses that include a whole bunch of player skins, the golden AK-47 and the golden 92FS. Also one other thing that we should probably mention is that if you buy the collection then you're also going to be granted guaranteed access to the multiplayer beta for Uncharted 4 A Thief's End. So if you haven't played any of the Uncharted games but you've been hearing a few things here and there about Uncharted 4, then this is probably going to be a pretty good collection to grab because, well, it's going to save you from having to play all the previous games on the old gen. So yeah, Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection coming to PlayStation 4 on October 9. That's pretty exciting news for all the Uncharted fans out there. But now to our next news report of today's show, and it's coming to us from Steam. And it seems that a lot of Steam news has been popping up lately regarding a few new things here and there, but this time it's about the new Steam controller. Valve released earlier today a brand new trailer for the new controller which will be hitting the shelves on November 10. The controller has gone through a whole heap of different prototypes and designs over the course of the past year but we now have the final design of the controller which now includes an actual analog stick. Basically Valve's idea with this is that it's supposed to help transition PC players over to the console by creating a similar feel of using a mouse. But to be honest I can't really see how this controller could even really come close to how a mouse feels. I mean, like your hands are in a completely different position when using a mouse to when you're using a controller. So to really get that same feeling of using a mouse would almost be impossible. But one thing I do like about this controller is the trigger buttons that are on the back of it. These are pretty similar to the paddles that you get on scuff controllers and pretty much means you never have to take your thumbs off the joystick to jump or to go prone, which is especially useful in FPS games. Sort of wish that Microsoft or Sony would have added these buttons to their controllers because it's actually extremely extremely useful and is a really cool addition that Valve's added to their controller. But as I said, Valve has stated that the controller is supposedly as precise as using a mouse, so I guess we're just going to have to wait until November to see how good the new controller actually is. Anyway, if you want to go check out all of the screenshots as well as the full trailer, it will be down in the description below, but that's going to be it for today's gaming news. A little bit of a short news day, but there really wasn't that much news to report on, but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. Thanks for watching and stay gaming. off with the follow-up report from yesterday's video because late last night here in Australia Bethesda's countdown timer for Fallout 4 hit zero and as we were expecting the first Fallout 4 trailer was revealed. The trailer's playing on your screen now and pretty much confirmed.